this week three matchup. The Colts are back deep waiting for the kick. And Steven Hauschka is ready now to get this one started. Look, I, I fucking can't even move without it being obnoxious. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll get a new mic tomorrow. Okay, I'm sorry. I apologize. And he's tackled at the 34-yard line. Yeah. Well, we don't see this too often. This is a speed back, but a good job that time. Just yeah. running right through the tackle and breaking it. The Colts defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. He'll go nickel. Tackle's made, and the first down is picked up. If you're running back and you want more carries, do things like this. Read the defense right, read the blocking, and pick up first downs. That's a really good job by the running back. The Raiders will take no, the down down the board. Side of the 50 after this play. Murray is a very smart runner. He knows situations in the game. He saw the first down yard markers, and what does he do? He gets past them and picks up the first down. Back to him. Wilson's in on the tackle. Oh, yeah, can we turn on the injuries? Murray is a great running back to have on your football team, isn't he? He goes up in there and gets the first down. Now your offense has three more chances. And Raiders take it from the 38. Pass is intercepted. Oh, there's Farmer. He came back out. Luck's got his helmet on now as he comes to the huddle. Last week, he did not have a single touchdown throw, and he's looking to change that today. Like, please. What do you mean, what am I doing? No, I promise you. The Raiders offense back on the field, trying to make up for that costly mistake. The last time they had the ball, the turnover they committed immediately turned into points it's really against bad. them. Like I can't yeah, it did, Jim. You know, it's not a perfect game. You got to deal with adversity when you're talking about football. So you made that mistake. Let it go. Go out there. Be aggressive and see if you can score some points. The Colts with a nickel look here on defense. Scrambling out of the pocket. And Phil, it's something we hear so often. It's a passing league, and right now their passing game just hasn't been a strength. It's a reason they're behind at this point. Oh, their passing game, it's been borderline terrible so far in this game. And you've got to go in and talk to your quarterback and try to give him some confidence and say this to him. Trust what you see and let that... The Raiders weren't able to get anything out of their last drive and were forced to punt as they take the field here. Do you think they are going to bury their approach, Phil? Well, I hope so. I think they will. They, they got a lot of information out there in that short drive, Jim, and you do that by showing different formations and plays. You saw how the defense reacted to it. Now what the fuck is that? And see if you can get some positive plays. I'm sure they're tired of being in the three and out business. Well, that's a bad business to be in. I know. I get a lot of bad businesses. Murray's tackled down after a gain of two. Got to give a lot of credit to the defense. They were all over the run that time, and they only give up a short gain. The Raiders bring in an extra tight end for this play. The Raiders will take the snap from the 35. And it falls incomplete. Why, Farmer? Why? They went for the home run ball there, Phil, but just could not make the play. Yeah, you want to do this. You always want to throw the football deep at least four or five times a game because you want to make the defensive backs uncomfortable. If you let them get comfortable, they'll start jumping those short ones. These guys won't do that anymore now. Both coaching staffs told... The Raiders stalled on their last drive, forced to punt. So now the offense comes back out onto the field. Yeah, they're coming back out. They lack confidence, and I understand why. They came out, couldn't get anything done. The defense was flying around, making the plays. Now they got to change the tempo of this game. Yeah, really. Murray is a very smart runner. He knows situations in the game. He saw the first down yard markers, and what does he do? He gets past them and picks up the first down.
What a wonderful route by the receiver. Terrific throw by the quarterback, and he catches no. it. And it's a long game, but just short of the end zone. Nice play by the offense. Anderson's in on the tackle. is of course going to be accepted by the defense no margin for error from just outside the goal line and he takes off Wilson's there to make the tackle that's second down coming up drop back shotgun formation Hoopers, Raiders in for the score no. Midway through the second quarter. The Raiders offense heading back onto the field to start the drive after the result of their last possession was a touchdown. You think they've got another one in them, partner? Oh, I absolutely do. Well, now you said, hey, call Travis. Uh, no, let's still call Travis or something. When you put those scenes together, sure. that makes you good, it makes you dangerous, and I wouldn't be surprised to see him march down there again. The Colts lined up in the nickel. First and ten. Michael Crabtree with the catch. That's his first reception today. Well, there's under two minutes to go. Good job no. on the offensive uh, ball carry that time. He knows he can You're get no asshole. more yards. He steps out of bounds to stop the clock. Now first and ten. Looking at every option. You gotta try to avoid this as a quarterback. Don't throw off that back foot unless you have to. When you do, there's just no way you're gonna be as good if you had good balance. That time the throws off the mark. Jones handed the football. He's in the clear. Nobody was gonna catch him there. Touchdown. How about the block? The Raiders' offense is in rhythm. Coming back out for another drive. The last two times they've had it, they found the end zone. Their rhythm, they make, they're making it look easy, Jim. It's like watching you dance. You have such great rhythm. It looks like you're not even working at it. So that's how you do these. Chris, we get love it. That is how you draw it up, isn't it, Phil? Oh, man, a quarterback loves guys that can make catches like this. And they're just so strong. They know how to zero in. They never lose concentration. And you never see him drop a pass. The Raiders offensive coordinator, he has to be frustrated by that play. I think he calls the right play. But what happens? The run loses yards. That's just a bad job at the offensive line. Looking for some daylight up the middle. Murray's never able to build up that power that he has as a running back. When there's nowhere to go, hey, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. From the gun. Had it for just a second, but then it came out on contact. Just out of the half, and it looks like... The Raiders didn't get much out of that last drive, so now here they come again on offense. I'm sure they're going to be a little bit more of an urgency to the offense this time. Well, I'll just say this to you, Jim Lance. I sure hope so after that last drive. That was just too generic, wasn't very well thought out, and they got to change what they're doing on the offensive side. Got to give that defense a little credit, though, don't you? Well, yeah, the defense did its job, but yeah, that was pretty easy. Makes the catch in open space. That's another reception, giving him two. Good route that time by the receiver on the out route. Nice throw by the quarterback. This is what they call a timing route. Well, they were right on time. Midway into the third. Murray's able to move the chains here as he's tackled down. Murray's a great running back to have on your football team, isn't he? He goes up in there and gets the first down. Now your offense has three more chances. The Raiders take it from the 33. Scans the field. Second down coming up. Snap it out of the gun. 
stands in the pocket. Look at that concentration as he makes the grab. The Raiders now on third down. Just a week ago, they converted at a high rate in third down situations. Third down and two. Jones got it on the handle. Games 14. Jones is able to get it done that time. Why? Because he has the power and the will to make it happen. Third short, he just gets it done for sheer willpower. Always manage the football game. You've got to be thinking about it all the time if you're the quarterback. It's a tie game. You're down in here in the red zone. Be careful with the football. You at least want to get three points out of this. They'll go shotgun here. What a catch. Touchdown. Scoring touchdowns, what an exciting thing. The Raiders offense coming back onto the field. It was a good drive for them the last time they had it. All the way down to the end zone for the touchdown. Yeah, you know, in this game, Jim, it's all about momentum. And when you feel you've got the momentum on your side, you've got to take advantage of it. So now I think it's up to the offensive coordinator to call the right plays. The Colts defense now is going to go nickel. Final quarter underway now with this snap. He's now past the 100 yard mark on the day. The Raiders, they never back off. That first down, they got a small lead here in the second half. What are they looking to do? They're looking to march this football down the field and score. First down at the 46. Up the gut here. Murray's marked down after a gain of nine. Bill, today we've seen a running back who was putting up some big rushing totals. Jim, sometimes I get tired of talking about the quarterbacks and wide receivers, how well they're doing. What a good change of pace to watch the game evolve around a running back. And, man, this guy is taking advantage. Makes the catch in the end zone. Touchdown. And with less than a quarter. The Raiders offense, Phil, is on a roll right now with touchdowns coming on each of their last two possessions. Can they make it three in a row right here? Well, we're going to find out. I like their chances. What have we seen that makes us think that they're not going to come out there and get it done? They're, they're playing exceptional football on the offensive side. Running room. He steps out. Doesn't like what he sees on the defensive side, so he is changing the play to the receivers by giving him hand signals. Second and ten coming up. The Raiders have it at the 44. He's got a little bit of daylight here. Games 11. He's averaging right around seven yards per carry on the game. Two consecutive weeks, we've seen a running game that's delivered the goods for this offense. This offense so determined to run the football. The coaches show great presence. And listen, the design is awesome, and the running back is really good, too. When you can't hit the quarterback or put pressure on him, there's not much you're going to get done then. That time, quarterback had time and throws it down the field for another completion. And there's only two yards to be found right there. Jones is trying to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short game. The Colts' defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. Scrambling now. Smith's going to make the tackle. Breaking huddle at the 10. Third and two. It's intercept. 